Now my whole body is going to turn her off her base as I slide my left foot or my right foot back this way. So it's keeping contact with the floor all the time. That's something we don't usually do during the week. We don't usually do it during forms. Is I want to keep my base as I turn. So I'm not stepping back. I'm sliding back so I'm in constant contact with the floor. I have my base at all times. And then I do a palm heel knee smash and then I slide my base back and I throw out the right palm heel this way. I can do that pretty much simultaneously because I have my base throughout the movement this way. If I were to step back and I were to do this, I'd have to time it just right to where I find my base and then I throw the palm heel. Because if I'm here and I throw the palm heel, I would just go back. That's why I like sliding my foot back here, keeping the base all the time as I do the palm. Now, as you come down in here, I hit, smack, come back, boom. Now on the street, I would probably just smash, grab the foot, go like this, boom, and then go down. But then I wouldn't learn the principles of what the form is trying to teach me, and that is to do hit, use my whole body, keep my base through the movement, boom, get in here from the ground, good hip, hip alignment, this way. Equator, as she resists, then I'm going to go over the North Pole. So it's based on she can't effectively resist motion in two different directions or at least fast enough. So I come down here as I move in, I'm going to go here as I feel resistance. She's going to resist that way, but as soon as I change direction, she's not going to be able to resist that. Just like if she puts her hand out, she can resist this. She can't resist that. She can't resist this force at the same time she's resisting that. So we're going to make it a little more applicable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block left because I'm not going to get outside a right punch very often. So I'm going to block left. I'm going to palm heel. Then I'm going to transfer the arm left to right. And then I'm just going to go in and take her down that way. Now, what I want to do is I want to be really careful on her neck. Come down here, palm heel, moving in. I'm going to go here slow, and then we're really nice on our neck, but an application, and we just straighten out. And the idea of this exercise, it's not a technique, it's just a drill to get you to feel this, she resists, and then I go over the North Pole. That height, I get here, come down, I move into Lanka 2 here. As I move in, I also want to come in, as I move in, I'm using my directional harmony at the same time I'm turning the head. I go into Lanka 2, before I take her down, I can just do a little assist, take her base out that way if there's a little bit of height differential. So we're going to and hit, come through, hit, roll the leg, break the base, and then so I come down here, and do a double palm, just like, and a palm block, and I'm not going here. Then I'm going to go into lock one, as I do a sheer and elbow, right on the, her upper arm here, slight disc is going to go to an lock, and then I'm going to come down to here. And I want that reaction, I want her bending back here, and then my left hand, just like we did, and the drill is going to go here, 
boom, and I would just dump her. Because I already got her this way, here, and then I just take her down. So just bam, hit, smack down here, hit, roll it through here, and I want to just get this, and I want this orlock to float here. So my shoulders are turning, orlock's floating this way. It's going to turn her back to me a little bit. Then I'm going to do the gyroscopic rotation. As I feel resistance, I'm just going to dump her down there. It's important to be a lock on one because if I don't, come down here, hit here, smack here. She can just step out of it and just rotate. And now she takes the other hand. Now I'm in a, a wrestling match. But if I can pin that weight, either coming down here, smack, either to lock one, or I can even just step on the foot two like this. It keeps her in place as I just touch her down here. I smack, hit, lock down, and I'm here again going to. It's important to know that I'm doing the gyroscopic rotation to get it started to here, and then my left hand slips. So I go around the equator, over the North Pole, I get her back even further. That allows my left elbow to slip, and then I'm just going to drive her down. Boom. This way. But I'm going to make sure that I do 